Hey folks, welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Man, have I got a beautiful air rifle to show you guys today. Take a look at this bad boy. This is the Acelcon MX-8 in .22 caliber. Uh, it is a regulated. And uh, this, this bad boy don't have a little tiny air cylinder. This beast comes with a 500cc air bottle. That's a lot of shots. We'll go over a few specs of it here with you. Uh, comes with the uh, Picatinny rail to mount your uh, bipod. Comes with the Picatinny rail back here to add a, an adjustable foot. And I'm going to tell you what, folks. The cocking mechanism in this rifle is just second to none. Watch how easy this is to cock. I mean, just one finger smooth. You can decock it. Let's do that again. Just one, and it is spring assisted when you open it. So, one more time, spring assisted. Beautiful, man, that's just smooth. This is very, the, the cocking mechanism on this is very comparable to my FX Wildcat. It is just awesome. The machining on this rifle was just beautiful. The safety is just absolutely just a pleasure to work it back and forth. It comes with a two-stage adjustable trigger. Once again, this is regulated. Uh, manufacturer says that in a 2.2, you should get 80 shots. And in a 2.5, about 65 shots. Has an adjustable cheek riser. Um, it is moderated, so it does have a baffle system in. Plus the end screws off. It's got half UNF threads to put your downing on there or, or your favorite moderator. I've got a Hawk uh, 4x12 Vantage mounted on top. Nice rifles like this, folks, deserve nice glass. So, um, see if I left out anything. Uh, it is synthetic. Now, this does come in a Woodstock also. And, uh, but the machining on this thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get you underneath. You don't need no field probe with this. Air it up from underneath. Hook your uh, eighth of an inch quick. Disconnect on there and don't have to worry about no field probe. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move this back a little bit. Let's take a look at the case. It comes in a beautiful case. Man, this case is just like super nice. Usually, uh, when manufacturers give you a case with your rifle, it's just, it's just something that serves the purpose. But this case is just super awesome. Not knocking everything over. Huge manual. Tells you how to adjust the regulator, how to degas this rifle. Comes with two, I believe that's 14 shot. 12 shot magazines i'm sorry two 12 shot magazines o-rings quick disconnect comes with a bottle of silicone oil just a beautiful rifle oh and the case has metal hinges in it so that's super nice super nice rifle let's get it back over here on the bench all right folks today we're gonna we're going to put this bad boy on the bench and uh, take a few shots. And uh, here, let me get you a view from the other side. This uh, will accommodate left-hand shooter or right-hand shooter. Um, so we're going to put it on the bench. Uh, we're going to check, take some accuracy at my indoor range. Um, I'm only shooting at 27 yards. So uh, we're going to run it across the chronograph. And then after we do some accuracy testing, we'll uh, uh, maybe might get out the DB reader, and uh, we'll we'll run a full mag through it and see how the uh, where the, the crony is, and uh, do some chronograph testing and all that good stuff. Anyway, folks, stay tuned. Let's get this bad boy on the bench. Let's get some targets set up and the camera rolling. We'll be right back. All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, there was a few things I forgot to mention about this rifle. 
how the total length from uh, butt to barrel is 36 inches. It has a 550 millimeter barrel. It weighs in at just 7.1 pounds with no optics, no bipod, and uh, no lead. And once again, it does have a two-stage trigger, and it is 250 bar. So, going to be trying the uh, JSB Exact Jumbo Express 14.35 grain. I'm going to shoot five of those, and then we're just going to try some cheap uh, Crossman Premier Ultra Dome 14.3 grain. Always like trying out the Crossman to see how they uh, perform because they are more economical. I'm going to load five of each. And the mags load just like a Marauder mag. Just spin it to the right. And the first pellet goes in on the bottom. Like so. Yeah, like so. Let's do that again. Five of those. I've got five of those. Now let's do uh, five of the uh, cheaper Crossman pellets. I haven't tried the Crossman pellets yet. Not sure what they're going to do. I love guns that will shoot these cheap Crossman pellets. And a uh, two, two. They're more readily available to local box store. All right, that's four. One more. That's five. Now these mags load just like a Marauder mag. They load from the right side in, like so. All right, make sure our crony is up. First shots are going to be. At the bottom orange target. These are a one inch target, so let's see how we get along. Once again, the uh, JSBs are first. Nine hundred nine. Nine oh nine. Nine hundred. Seven. Nine seven. Nine hundred seven. Nine seven again. Greg working perfectly. Shot number four. Nine hundred nine. Nine oh nine. Shot number five on the JSBs. Nine hundred seven. Nine hundred seven. Man, that rig's working really sweet. All right, now let's try the crossbow. We'll be shooting at the uh, the top orange dot or the top orange target, which is a one-inch target once again. Now let's try the crossbow. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred sixteen. I might have pulled that shot. Let's find out. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred five. Fourth shot with the crossman. Nine hundred twenty-eight. Fifth and final shot with the crossman. Ninety-eight. Evidently, I pulled that one shot. That would have been just one ragged hole, pretty much. Actually, she does cross as well. Very well. Take a look at our current graph. That's an average of 909. Once again, the reg is set at uh, right about 130, 129 bar on the reg. Uh, 909 average 
uh, spread of 30, a deviation of eight, so a deviation of eight, that, that's, that's real well, working real good. All right, folks, that's kind of going to conclude the uh, video on the uh, Escalon MX-8 Super Knife Rifle, folks. I'm going to tell you what, uh, this is about, uh, um, it's like uh, a, a budget FX. It is super nice. Uh, everything works extremely well. If you get a rifle that's, that shoots better than this, you're going to have to spend some big bucks. This gun will will shoot with the big boys, and uh, I have an FX, and uh, it shoots uh, it shoots about just as good as my FX. Anyway, uh, there's only one place I know that in the United States that you can pick up one of these rifles, and that is Lethal Air. I'll leave a link below. It's LethalAir.net. Uh, give Chad a call; he'll help you out and uh, get you. Uh, you can order one of these rifles. He has a uh, two twos and two fives so uh give him a call and uh tell him joe sent you and uh he'll be more than happy to help you out i'll leave a link to that below so uh and then you can get in there and, and get all the, the phone number and all the information but uh thanks for tuning in folks until the next time have a good one we'll catch you on the next go around